Hi, Sunshines, and go back to our channel, Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And I'm going to tell them what's going down in this video today. Okay, what's going down in this video is another kind of an end of a, uh, end of a year review, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And these are in no particular order, but products this year that made an impact on us. Yes. Um, it could be maybe brand exclusive or just kind of like switching and swatching around, but brand, uh, but products that we picked up that really changed the game for us. Yeah. And so... Um, yeah, so we each put together like 10 products um, that we each really loved using this year. Mm -hmm. um, some in like the lineup might have like two, so like one might have like two products as one or whatever. So we might have a little bit more than 10, but these are just the products we've collected right. that we love um, from 2018 that we recommend. Um, this video, there is going to be no order. We couldn't really put them in order. These mm -hmm. are just 10 products that we like that we recommend and right. um, we're dressed for the occasion. And we're dressed for the occasion. Because I am the, mm -hmm. the Natural Hair Awards 2018. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I look at the statuette. Mm -hmm. Little award thing they get. Yes, I like the, the Christmas look. It's like a Christmas, New Year's Eve kind of. Totally. End of the year thing. Totally, totally. On. Okay. Okay. So if you would like to hear and see our top products from 2018, then Please keep watching. Please keep watching. Okay, so would you like to start or should I start? Why don't you start, girl? Okay, so the first products I have, the, the number one, again, no particular order, but these are just the first products we're going to show. I'm showing Aussie. Um, Aussie dropped their Miracle Curl line this year, and in that line came a co-wash and a deep conditioner, and I have gone through bottles and bottles and bottles of these all year since they've dropped. I absolutely love this co-wash. I love this deep conditioner. If it's up to me, I use it every single wash day. If we're not filming or testing something, I'm reaching for the co-wash and the deep conditioner. It's all I've talked about. And um, these are my favorites. These are holy grail. And whenever I can, I reach for them. Always replacing them. They're super cheap. So the All See Miracle Curl was definitely so amazing to find So what is, um, is it? A, a co-wash. Co okay. And the other is a deep conditioner. Okay. So love these both. Right. Mm -hmm. And that those came out this year because Aussie's been around like forever. This yeah, this year they tried to jump on like the natural wave because okay. naturals were using Aussie, but it wasn't really like a natural line. But they came out with hair products, the Miracle Curl line for curly hair. Okay. And these two were in there, a co-wash and then their deep conditioner. Love them so much. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Let me go here. Right here. Jane Carter <laughs> Solution. Nourish and shine. Nourish and How shine. many videos? I mean, I wish we could do kind of like um, a um, collage, a Com compilation, yeah, compilation of me saying nourish and shine at the end of every single thing, other than one and dones. Um, and, I'm, and I couldn't be shady because you were watching me. But if I could have slapped it in the end of a one and done, I would have. But Nourish and Shine completes every look. As a matter of fact, it's completing this look right about now. Okay? So, on top of everything else. On top of but, everything else. But um, Nourish and Shine, it's been around for years. Everybody knows about it. It's quite pricey. But, 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 even though some people say it's, it, they found a different price. Yeah, you yeah. can find a different place, I guess, cheaper. Mm -hmm, but, but price points. Overall, it's but like 20 22 to 25 to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, what it? I'm almost out. I'm, I am out, quite frankly. Um, oh, it's empty. It's gone. Oh my god. It's absolutely gone. Yeah, but I love it. I complete every look with it. Like I said, other than a one and done, um, kind of sort of. No matter what the brand, no matter what the review is, it just kind of just adds something. Even today, I did the whole look and everything, and then I just had to slap on this for whatever reason. <laughs> I bought it on set. I've done it off set. I've done it behind the camera, in front of the camera. I just love Dane Carter's Nourish and Shine. Mm -hmm. It's just a holy grail. Um, an OG product, and I love it. You love and it so, so much. And every review, finished look Nourish with Carter. Nourish and Shine. Miss <laughs> yeah, Jane Carter. Miss hey, Jane Carter. Hey. Love you so much. So me. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on. Number two, I am pulling out the Curl Mix products. Love Curl Mix. We discovered them this year. We are ambassadors of the brand. We love Curl Mix on this channel, but. Um, on my days off, I reach for Curl Mix so much. I love doing the gel and putting the moisturizer on top. That is my favorite wash and go. I get such amazing results. I get them for days. Um, these ones are the hair growth ones. They smell like watermelon. They just smell so good. They feel so good in the hair. I get curl definition and elongation, and I just love I was gonna Curl throw, Mix. I thought my two were here, but you did all that cleaning when I stepped out the room. I had the green ones here because that was in my game changer this year too. Oh, was it? Yes, so it that, was. That's, like, that's your so, number two? Yeah, so for two, you... we'll each do curl mix? Yes. Girl, mm -hmm. I can't do a whole lot of moving because okay. I'm kind of like taped down here. Okay. So but <laughs> mine are the softening ones. The, the softening green ones. flaxseed gel and the moisturizer. And it's the color of... Um... Do you want me to get them? Girl, can you? <laughs> well, this is doing a lot. Okay. This is why you, I told you not to clean out. <laughs> 
we were each supposed to get our own product. I did. I had them on the table and you cleaned up. <laughs> okay. All right. This is my pick. Like we said, in no particular order. But since we're doing yours, we might as well just like knock them both out at the same time. Right here, the flaxseed gel and the avocado moisturizer. I love the green one, as I called it. This was the softening... Uh, this is to soften hair and recently I've switched over to the lavender but I have to say this was the standout this is the one that I carried on about this mm -hmm. is the one that I drove everybody crazy with this is the one I was sneaking out of your room at night and putting it on my shelf just to look at it when I woke up in the morning this was the one that I talked about ad nauseum mm -hmm. in the beginning of the year when we kind of like first discovered the brand yeah okay so I have to give a shout out to the green one Yay. okay and curl mix and curl mix code mac curls if code you're interested 20% off <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, moving on. Um, that basically was your turn, so it's my turn yes, again. Yes, exactly. Okay, so number three, I am whipping out Jessie Curl. Um, we discovered Jessie Curl this year when we did a Jessie Curl video, and we discovered Jessie Curl around the time where I left that protein mask in overnight thinking it was a deep conditioner, and we lost power, and I couldn't rinse it out, mm -hmm. and I had like a protein mask in my hair for like three days, and my hair suffered from protein overload so bad I thought I was gonna have to big chop my hair and chop it all <laughs> off because it was just so bad and this deep conditioner I used this deep conditioner for about like three weeks straight it brought my hair back from protein overload I stopped with the fairy knots and the shedding and the breaking and the dryness like this really brought my hair back so the yeah. Jesse curl deep conditioning treatment to me is amazing love this and then their spiralicious gel from like their whole collection that we tried this gel really stood out to me i love the spiralicious gel i use it as a one and done amazing i love it amazing. so jesse curl so happy i found them in 2018 okay what i've discovered in 2018 of course guys you guys all know about it probably oh, everybody yeah. by now owns it is camille rose naturals Crim restore mm -hmm. i mean how many times can we say it? how many times can we say it fast okay Crim restore Crim restore i mean obsessed 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 with Crim restore mm -hmm. throughout the entire year um maybe quiet it down a little bit towards the end of the year because you know i found other things that i like um but this will always be near and dear and still is i mean i have i mean how many bottles do we have of this Crim we restore? really have so many and you know what i've mm -hmm. noticed on the camille rose website back when we first started talking about it we always told the people like just check the website kind of it's mm -hmm. hit or miss get it when you can now i feel like it's always in stock after okay. like you guys went crazy that one live you guys shut the website down you mm -hmm. shut down the hitachi website yeah. website um camille rose definitely keeps the stock now the creme restore yeah. i think that's because of y'all the macros crazy fam like y'all yeah. shut the website down and now mm -hmm. i find that you can find it there more often than not this but. has incredible slip you co-wash your hair with this and you're detailing at the same time. Mm -hmm. There's just no gimmicks. It's just straightforward. You you know, you wet your hair, you put it in, and the this the amount of slip in this co-wash is just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean there's co-washes, we all know that co-washes are like conditioning washes, but this seriously has such strong slip and I always talked about it and I raved about it like you have to try it you don't you won't believe it until you feel it and everybody agreed mm -hmm. okay everybody agreed with this yeah so, and it smells um, good right and it smells so all yeah. of our products smell so good yeah. um they just smell very baker I like sweet smells I don't like floral smells so I like Camille Rose Naturals because all of their smells are sweet and I have to talk about this not so much that they pair together but just like it's just what I love so much these were game changers for me this year and this was Janssen's Moisture Max Conditioner oh, yeah. they have lots and lots and lots of conditioners they have the algae new which is a deep conditioner they have um what's that other one uh, the soylicious one okay but this one to me tops even the deep conditioner the algae new all right, not that I add any oils or anything to it. To me, this is thicker, heavier, and it, it gets the job done for me more so than Algae New. So I love this very much, and um, these two were game changers from the Camille Rose Naturals line. I, I love the line anyway, and when I discovered these, just couldn't shut my mouth up about these things, and especially the Creme Restore. Okay. Okay. All right, moving on to Weedad. Um, we Dad, they were in our top brands this year. Specifically for me, the product that stood out for me for We Dad was the Vita Curl Gel. Their original one, I know they came out with Vita Curl Plus, but apparently certain places you can still find the original. I do prefer the original over the brand new gel that came out, so if I can find more bottles of this, I do pick it up when I can find it. Um, I really love this gel. This gel... Again, was I used around the time I had protein overload, and my curls just it curled my curls up so much, like they were super curly. And um, I get a long wash and go from this, just this gel alone. I'm really a huge fan of Wee Dad gels. I think they're really good. So my favorite is the Vita Curl Tress Effect Styling Gel. Okay, and on the Wee Dad kick, this was a game changer for me. This 
year this summer in particular when we went to Georgia the heat and humidity was just nothing that you can describe just we weren't quick, prepared quick. we weren't prepared and when you pack a suitcase you have to pack very lightly and so I packed a line that I felt would work and so I packed the shampoo the conditioner normally I don't like do lines like that but I felt I don't know I just want everything matchy matchy so I did the shampoo the conditioner the gel thinking that that was going to be the save the day moment but it wasn't it really wasn't the next day, I just put this in, and I didn't want it layer because I always tell you guys, we dad is too expensive to layer. So mm -hmm. pick one hold. These things are holds. This is a, a kind of like a light, fluffy hold, and the gel is kind of like a firmer hold, okay, mm -hmm. in this particular line, in the blue line, as I call it, the curl quencher line. So when you pick things, you don't need to layer the cream. This is not a moisturizer to be layered with the gel, okay? This is a hold. This is kind of a, um, a firmer hold than, excuse me, this is a lighter hold than the gel. Yeah. So I tried the gel at first, and for some reason it didn't work. And so so the next day, um, I had in my suitcase this one, and I just put this in, you know, time was of the essence, and then we just kind of like went to where we had to go, and this held all day, and I came back and just started using this on my days off like crazy, because I really liked it. I was impressed. Mm -hmm. I was shocked that it worked like that. I didn't think something like a cream would hold like that, but it really did. No frizz got into my hair. Even better than the climate control line, to me, it worked for my hair. So this was a game changer this year for me. Thank goodness I brought it with me to Georgia in that hot heat and humidity. Hey, okay. so that's a wee dad. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to, um, I'll do this. Okay. This is my Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioning Leave-In Conditioner. I use this as a refresher spray. I've gone through bottles and bottles and bottles of these this year. These are like $3. And I just spray it in my hair. I do the trick that you do of not touching the hair when okay. um, you're refreshing. And I just love this. I love that it's like a conditioner and that it's creamy because like re-moisturizes my hair. And I can't use it as a styler like putting this down as a conditioner and then putting a styler on top like it doesn't do anything for me but as a refresher it is my absolute favorite it smells amazing it's cheap and um I love this as a refresher spray so this is definitely in my top 10 because yeah. I've gone through so many of these I love these okay so now that we're on refreshing sprays this one Sotanicals was the game changer for me and then I uh, put it on to you guys and it became a game changer for you guys the idea of spraying and not touching whether it's exclusive to this brand I don't think so because you're saying that it works for you mm -hmm. when you refresh your hair you spray you mist it all around and then you just kind of let it sit and I do that pretty much with everything but some I I always have to start off with the Sotanicals one and so um, this hair Sorel uh, Nappy Licious Kink Drink I love and I found it this year I don't know how I sprayed and didn't touch because normally I spray and then you start putting your hands in and fluffing yep. and frizzing and all that but maybe I was cold out the room I don't know what made me not touch it right away but when I came it was like back, an accidental find yes yeah it kind of had like a little dampness still maybe about a two to three minute wait and it was just enough that this was sprayed on you could still kind of feel the dampness but not the wetness it was damp and then I started the the fluffing and then wow like just the coils came out just the curls just the hold just the definition it was without the frizz and I said there's something to the spraying and not touching mm -hmm. so this is the one that made me discover that whole idea of that and so I love this so um the sotanicals and so I have a few other things from the line so I'm just going to go through it since yep, we're on sotanicals well. yeah. okay the other one that was a big find to me is the knot sauce this is a detangler this is a leave-in I use it as a leave-in it is an excellent detangler the kind of detangler that you have a knot in your hair um, a dread and you put that in and concentrate on that spot it is a true detangler you feel the slip and it gets it out this was the old packaging which I love I love packaging I don't know why they changed their packaging but anyway it's their business but I love it and so I I always like take this important in here because I like this old bottle. It looks like hot sauce to me. So this is this is this. Okay, this is the old one. This is the new one. Okay. Along the lines of um, Sotanicals, of course, Afrotastic, the best deep conditioner. Before this, I was using Curl Rehab by Curl Junkie. Still love it. Absolutely, I've been using it for over 10 years. Nothing wrong with it. But this, to me, edged it out just slightly this year when I found this. There's nothing like this. The slip is incredible. I go to this when my hair is going to be problematic. Um, not so much, I, I know it's for moisture, okay, deep conditioning treatment, and it, I think it speaks about moisture, but I don't, it doesn't have like a standout moisture memory in my mind that this, oh, I want moisture, I'm going to go for this. To me, it's just the slip. Like, I have to deep condition, okay. and I just grab this because it's just something that I can put through my hair and, and basically finger detangle, and mm -hmm. so I, I love this. So this was another great find from Sotanicals. 
and the other one I have like two more here all right this was a huge game changer for me I heard about it all last year you guys said it's very exclusive to the fall you have to get it in the fall it is true to its word only in the fall they start kind of like parading it around late September early October um, they close a shop pull down the shingle okay by the end and then I think they bought it back one more time this year for Black Friday but it sold out quick this is I can't believe it's not pumpkin a spinoff from I can't believe it's not butter I love that love it but this I love even more because of the smell it just is holiday it's just Thanksgiving it's fall it's pumpkin it's cinnamon it's God it's so good it's so Ooh. good it's so good it smells so and good. I got such a good deal on it and I was so yeah. glad and I just love this and I was so glad that I caught it this year I'm so glad that I listened to you guys and heed the warning that you only can get it in the fall because it's so true mm. and now it's gone so I hated to put it in here but so you'll know for next year I had to sit through the summer and wait for it so <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to okay and so next year jump on it in the fall because that's the only time you can get it mm. and last but not the least is edge control okay it's not like necessary for natural hair. People are like, if you're going to be natural, then go on and be natural and have your fuzzy edges. But no, I'm not doing that. Okay, I don't do fuzzy edges. Okay, personally for me, my business. Okay, so I love Barbie Bling. And then one day we were in New York and I got the little brush. And so this was a game changer for me. I really like it. And also because I'm older and my hair does gray at the temples right here. Okay, I, I was using the Bumble and Bumble like colorful stick. But this is even better because it almost like wets the area and dampens it. And so once I put this on and put the little brush, it kind of makes the white hair go dark. Look darker? Yeah, I love it. That's all I have to do. No more of the $25 Bumble and Bumble stick. Now I can use the $8, I think it is, um, Barbie Blank. Barbie Blank. So I'm almost out of this. this is, okay. You have tons of edge controls, but that is the one you're mm -hmm. always reaching for. I have edge control, I think, every brand. Wow. That's like the new thing. You did go through it. Yeah, it's the new thing. Um, it seems like everybody loves edge control they put out a whole line and then they slap on an edge control at the end and I've gotten them all but this one stuck it's soft it's pliable it goes on nicely it definitely masks this area and I love it this is to me the best edge control ever Okay. okay. So I have one Sultanicals product on my side that stood out to me, and that was the Frozen Dip and Grip Super Hold Gel. I we first put this on in a um in a tutorial, and I was like, eh, like I didn't really like it, but then I started using it more. I started using it for my edges, and more specifically, I used it for wash and goes. I used it as a gel on top, and I got days from my wash and goes from using this, and I love using it as a gel for a wash and go. I think it's yeah. so good um so this is my favorite sultanicals product the uh the frozen dip and grip super hold gel love this okay okay <laughs> so moving on to the next product i have i love the shea moisture the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I discovered this in 2018, and I definitely put so many of you guys onto so many of you guys onto this. You guys always are DMing and in the comments, like you know, I got the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Hair Mask, and it's amazing. Like this mask really is amazing. It's my favorite Shea Moisture Mask. It's my favorite deep conditioner, quite frankly. Um, oh, it smells good. I just love this. It's yeah, so yeah. moisturizing. It's just such a good deep conditioner. I love this deep conditioner. Okay, so good. Awesome. <laughs> okay. And it's funny, I never tried it. No, mm -hmm. you haven't. The, the video we did on that line, I, I don't believe I tried that one. You, I don't, did you? I don't remember. I don't know. I'm pretty stingy with this product. Yeah, you are. Because I really love it, and mm -hmm. so, it's just yep. so good. It's just so good. Okay. Let me see, where am I going? All right, so I forgot to mention this when we were doing Weed Ad. This was a game changer. Um, I just love the idea of this. The Ultra Nourishing Cleansing Oil by Weed Ad. It's yellow. They came out with the ultra nourishing, I think, deep conditioner. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Right now we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. This is a shampoo and it's an oil kind of like base shampoo. Mm -hmm. And it feels like a shampoo, but when you rinse it out, you can kind of feel like that oil residue, but not like an oily residue. You just feel like your hair is healthy. It's a very unique product. I talk about it. I can't really describe it the way I want to. I don't do it justice, but whatever it is and whatever it does, this I love. And I try to get cheaper versions of it. They just don't compare. Everybody cannot make a nourishing, a cleansing oil, okay? But We Dad has nailed it, and I love it, and this is a part of my collection that I love and I reach for. Okay, okay that is good. Mm -hmm. 
All right, should we do, I see we have some common products. We'll start with, we'll do these ones. Okay. So moving on to the main choice. Mm -hmm. Some main choice products, my favorite ones from this year that we've tried are uh, the Tropical Moringa ones. I love the sealing cream in the Tropical Moringa line and this uh, Pearly Braid Out Glaze. Using them together, it's such an amazing wash and go. And this product is just so cool. It's blue. Like it is straight up blue. Yeah, oh, it smells so good and it's such a a beautiful uh, wash and go it's moisturized uh, curl definition definitely um, you get longevity with it I get days with it and it's shiny I just love this wash and go and these products smell so good the packaging is beautiful I mm -hmm. like fell in love with the tropical moringa line when we tried it and I um, do reach for it on my days off sometimes I know yeah. I did it for our birthday and our birthday live and I love okay. these ones what do you have so on the your main, main choice, choice kick um, we were partial to two different lines. We loved them both. They worked very nicely for both of our hair, but mm -hmm. I happened to be partial to the Fro the Culture line. I loved everything about it from the moment I saw it or heard about the release. I love the colors. It matches me. It right does. Now. I was like, wow. Right? It's so <laughs> cute. I just love it. I like what, what it's about. I love the, the colors. I love the outside colors. I like the inside colors. Mm -hmm. I like the deep, rich mask. I mean, it just looks like it means business, mm -hmm. and it does. It works for me. Um, we heard things like it might dry your hair, and it very well may, because I don't debate people that say things work a certain way for them okay but it doesn't work that way for me mm -hmm. i love it so this was the um leave-in and then i put in this with it and then i was gifted that smells so this good. by subscriber thank you jen love nail polish hey, okay hey girl <laughs> okay. um the main choice this was their um sophisticated shea spray and it's Sheen not a spray um, shea sorry sheen spray it's not like a spray it's like it actually comes out like um like a serum kind of okay and and so i wasn't prepared for that but there it is and mm -hmm. so it's not a spray you don't just take this to go crazy on your head because it's not you know you, i put it in my hair my hands like that rub it together and just rub it through my head it smells so good it smells what would you say it smells like it's i don't sweet. even know it's, mi it's a mild sweet smell it's so is it vanilla kind of sort of not really like i don't know it smells I just love so it. good though but the main choice really nailed it this year we were so impressed i don't know like where y'all been all of our lives okay right? um we just love wow. the main choice this year we and have. so we discovered i mean complete lines they just nail it mm -hmm. all right so you really love the tropical moringa people always yep. ask what do you like which ones if you had to choose, I guess right now we're telling you which ones we would choose. Though I don't like to choose, I think that everything is unique. Every line, every brand makes different lines for a, a particular reason. Mm -hmm. So I don't like to choose one over another. Over another, though but, I just did. Yeah, if you're looking to like get into the main choice, like try start with either one of these lines. These yeah. are the ones that we really like. Yeah, that stood out to us in 2018 because we discovered Main Choice in 2018. Yeah, so it's just a really good brand, and they really are thorough with their with their lines. So throw the culture right Perm here and Tropical Moringa. Yeah, so this was a game changer, kind of like these are. You know, like on the show Survivor, they have a show called The Game Changers. Mm -hmm. This is the Game Changer mm -hmm. section <laughs> of the end of the year, okay? These are Game Changers These are the Game us. Changers. Okay. Okay. So, um, speaking of some more Game Changers, because I had kind of written the whole line off, mm -hmm. and we went to New York Fashion Week, and these were in the swag bag, the This Is Myel. I had really delved uh, into Myel this year, and, you know, their whole pomegranate honey line, I loved the way it smelled, got the whole thing, and I couldn't get any of it to work, and I was just disappointed. Mm -hmm. And then they came out with a shampoo and conditioner for that line, and I absolutely love the shampoo and conditioner. I'm more of a co-wash person, and before when I was like, I love shampoos and conditioners, it would typically be the As I Am Long and Lux. Still love that, but this blew that out the water. Like I love this. This the um wow. I brought both conditioners over here. Because <laughs> <laughs> they gave me what um, they gave you a shampoo and conditioner. And they, they just gave you a conditioner. Yeah. And I was like, that's good because typically naturally go through <laughs> conditioner faster than they go through shampoo. Okay. So it's supposed to be a shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo bottle looks just like this. It just okay. says shampoo. Okay. But the shampoo is amazing. It doesn't strip the hair. You can almost detangle with the shampoo, but you don't have to because the conditioner has so much slip. Is it creamy or is it like a shampoo? Um, the, the shampoo is, is like a shampoo. It lathers. Okay. It lathers, and then you go in with the conditioner, and it's just amazing. The only thing about it that I don't like is the pump. Like, the pump doesn't go anywhere. Like, you barely get anything when you, like, when you pump it. Interesting. Like it, on both bottles on shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, like nothing really. Like so, I typically have to. Um, hold on, this was the one I was using actually. I don't know if I can get it out, but 
What is, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, you know, I think this pump wasn't working for me. Okay. Wow. So I always end up just having to open it and like pump it out. The same thing with the shampoo, like the pump doesn't go anywhere. Wow. But the product is so good, I just take the top off and just put it in my hair. Is it out on the market now? Yes. So anybody have that? Does anybody else have that problem like, with the, with the pump? So I cannot deal with the problematic pump. But I basically just open it, pump, pump, like, you know, go like that mm -hmm. and use it. But um, this is definitely something I would buy again and again and again. I love the um the myel pomegranate and honey shampoo and conditioner okay. uh, amazing favorite myel products okay all right so when i first came on the channel i wasn't used to co-wash i kind of didn't even know the idea of it other than years ago that chaz dean chad dean what's his name that when okay made everybody's hair itchy scalp fall out and all that okay but anyway that when all right um he was started with the whole co wash. All mm -hmm. right, so you were into the co wash. Okay, yeah. you were doing co wash before. Whenever you we talk sense. about co washes, you always talk, talk about, about Chaz, Chaz Dean. Dean. I sure do. <laughs> like, I don't have any other memory, and I don't. But anyway, um, you were doing co washes before there were co washes. Yep. You were taking conditioner. Like you just kind of. I'm like who does that like you like the idea of the way your hair felt. right no you used to get after me you're like you yeah. need to wash your hair i'm yeah. like I, I, I would take the aussie conditioner and i would wash my hair with that yeah, when you yep. were like nine and ten years old you really did I, it made no sense but but obviously it did mm -hmm. i wish we would have marketed that years ago my grandmother on my father's side used to put pudding in her Duncan Hines cake mix and then years later they came up with pudding in the mix. If only she would have marketed that. Okay, again, my mother also had fitted sheets for a baby's crib. Like, who thinks of that for a baby's crib? My mother did. Okay, she thought of the idea fitted of that. Sheets? Fitted sheets. Like, you know how like you when you make a bed, you put fitted sheets yeah. around? Okay, and then you put the, the flat sheet and then you put the blanket over they that? They didn't have that for babies? They didn't have that for babies. And Gam thought of the idea. Granted, somebody made it, okay, because she found it in Bloomingdale's. But who thinks of that for a baby's crib? Like to make it like a bed, like a, like I just thought that was just so cool. People are probably like so, everybody does that now. Like, but I guess there was a time where nobody was doing yeah, that. Yeah, they do because definitely I got the fitted sheets for Adam. But speaking of all these things, all these inventions, the yes. the putting in the mix and the co-wash. Um, I wasn't a co-wash person at all. Mm -hmm. I was just totally shampoo, and so. See my surprise when I just found, to me, this was the game changer as of late. I can't say the whole year because I just discovered it, but I'm telling you, I haven't really used anything else. Earlier, I mentioned the Creme Restore. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Still love it. But this right here just leaves that moisturized feeling. That, the idea and the technique and the experience of that has the slip and you feel it moisturized as it's going through your hair. But once you rinse it out, it doesn't feel like a shampoo, like a watery shampoo like this. This, when you rinse this out, you feel like this has left moisture in your hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, this gets the job done easily with the slip, the creme restore, but this, not only does it get the job done with the, the lathery shampoo, but it leaves moisture behind. What and is I it? have never seen, okay, this is, <laughs> sorry guys, Alake Naturals Moisturizing Black Soap. Never experienced anything like it at all all mm -hmm. i mean to have a shampoo to be so watery to be so liquid and you have to apply it to the roots and i try kind of like drag it down you i do get a little heavy-handed because i just love products and so um i started off with the eight ounce and then i moved up to the 16 ounce and i have to move up to the gallon because i am a little heavy-handed i like it, i like the way it goes into my roots of my hair and i'm dragging it down and then i'm going like this and pouring it i'm like <laughs> Because it just comes out so easily. Yeah. So this is gonna be problematic. It looks like one of those me. products you could go through because it's, it's mm -hmm. watery and yeah. like unless it's like in like a spray form, like however yeah. any other form, like it would come out fast. It, yeah. It's and water. you were respectful of that because you didn't touch it because no. you said you know I love it so much yeah. and it just looks like. I it. mean, you kept wanting me to do it. So like I tried like a small section. I'm like, no, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But to mm -hmm. like you weren't gonna um, African black soap up my whole yeah. head. So what with Alex Naturals, yeah, it, it, it was an absolute great game changer. I love shampoo to begin with. But, and I've tried so many. I mentioned before the Weedad, the nourishing um, cleansing oil and all of that. But this, to me, I've never experienced anything like it. To be so lightweight, to be so watery, yeah. to, it's just I mean, speaking mm, of shocking. <clears throat> Alake Natural, since you pulled them up, I think these are my last products I have here. Okay. Which is the um, the wash and go that we did, the very first one with Alake Naturals. The lemongrass leaving conditioner and the creme brulee. Mm -hmm. This was the best wash and go basically I've ever experienced in my yeah. whole entire life. Like, it was just beautiful <laughs> That's it was so dramatic i know but life. like you guys said it you guys saw it we saw it we said it like mm -hmm. it was just the best wash and go i've ever gotten like it was elongation it was volume it was curl definition it was moisture yeah. it was everything and it lasted yeah. for like a week literally like six days and i just love this wash and go it is amazing mm -hmm. it's my number one it's so good yeah so good these products smell good they just 
appeared on us like <laughs> in December, like literally yeah. out of nowhere. Where we just started doing Alakay Naturals and we completely fell in love. But this I is know. such a good wash and go. Yeah, so good. I have to, I have to agree with that. You got a good well, wash and go from it I too. Did. Yeah, I mean, I really did. And Alakay Naturals, we can't wait to like explore more, do more combinations. Just see, we've done two videos on them. We've done two separate videos on um, the deep conditioners. Right. So we've tried both deep conditioners, and then we did two wash and goes afterwards. So we have tried it. We want to kind of find a way to, to change it up and explore more ways of doing this and switching this watching because we just love the products. We love the line. We respect the founder of it. And mm -hmm. so um, we're just very excited about finding that line. Yeah, totally. And like, why don't we just kind of like end it on that one because I was going to throw in something else. But yeah, I don't want to go beyond Allegheny Allegheny Naturals. Allegheny Naturals. Just really good. <laughs> They're just so good. Yeah. So yeah. I think that is it. So these are the products that we chose that we really reached for or that um, really made like an impact on us in yeah. 2018. We would recommend all these products that we have shown. I want to name the yeah. video Game Changers. Game Changers? <laughs> I do because to me it changed the game. It changed our natural hair game, okay, like the spray. The, you cannot doubt that this botanical spray, spraying and just like leaving it, not touching it. The whole idea, the concept of learning how to refresh your hair. How many people, me, like loved that idea, like learned okay. how to refresh this year, okay? So this was a game changer for a lot of us. I think this was very impactful, okay? Game changer, I think it changed the game for Kim and Tim, their company just exploded this year. I think that um, everybody got onto Curl Mix and I think this was a game changer for a lot of us, okay? Mm -hmm. And so if you don't know about Curl Curl mix. Oops. Girl. 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 <laughs> there you go on live. Don't camera. know about curl mix. Yeah. Yeah. That to me is it's problematic at times. And we did ask about it. And they, they don't know. They haven't fixed it this yet. This is the only one that does this. Yeah. I think it's always I don't know. A green this one, one became right? really watery. This is the moisturizer. I thought it was the summertime that it does that. Like it, it gets um, very, very liquidy because of the heat and it melts. But obviously it's still kind of liquidy. Maybe put it in the refrigerator or something. I don't know. I don't know. But um, anyway, that's not neither here nor there. Oh, stop that's waving not. it around. Okay. I'm just saying. It's neither here nor there. <laughs> So that was a game changer. Um, I oh. bet you I learned my lesson last year. So so the Sotanicals. Jesse Curl was a game changer. Yeah. It saved me from protein overload. Yeah. Never do that again. So um, it saved me. Yeah. Jesse Curl. Can't that believe was it's a game not changer. pumpkin. You got to get it next year. Make sure it's a game changer for you. Get that in the fall because it only is sold in the fall. Yeah. And it smells so good. And so I was so glad that I jumped on that. Yeah. So um, The Aussie Co-Wash. Like there's nothing. Mm -hmm. The foundation of a good wash day starts in the shower. So if you're yes. like aggravated in the shower with like a busted product that has no slip, that's not working, then like it's basically just a fail from there. Yeah. So Aussie, it works for me every time. So for me, that was a game changer. And don't force I know it always it. works. Like don't force it. Like I know that I tried Camille Rose. Everybody swore by it, that ginger rinse. And what came after that? You guys swear by the ginger rinse? And oh, the and that Moroccan that, pear. Yeah, that Moroccan pear. Okay. That did not work. I lost every ounce of curl in my head, okay? I'm surprised I didn't big chop in the shower, all right? <laughs> to me, that did not work. I don't know what the rave is about it, but it didn't work. But what was the game changer for me was the Camille Rose, the Creme Restore. Mm -hmm. How many times did I talk about this? So this, to me, worked, but that other one did not. But yeah. that's just me. So everybody is different. This is what the natural yeah. community is all about. I think the Sultanicals was the game changer for our Sultanicals series. I think in this video, yes. this was the wash and go I used with their blaze glaze, I think. Mm -hmm. And that caption was um, like our best wash and go or something because I yeah. don't think we had gotten one up until that point with Sultanicals. So yeah. this ended up being a, a Sultanicals game changer. Yeah. So yeah, I guess all these are kind of game all changers. Of we're naming yeah. it game changers per Lorianne. Okay, it might be on the title somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can she do. Just have final say. I'll see what I can fit where I can okay. fit. In. Okay. All right. So I think that is it. So these are our thoughts for 2018. These are our some of our favorite products from 2018, our game-changing products from 2018. Mm -hmm. We do have um, a 2018 favorite brands video. If you haven't seen that, we'll link that or it'll pop up somewhere so you can click and go see that video. Yeah, like a countdown, like a standard countdown yeah. for 2018, like five, four, like three, three, two, two one. one. What is our, our top number one? Brands. Yeah. Yeah. So um we did so that. that one's a fun one. Yep. And um, I think that is it as far as like 2018 favorites videos this year. Mm, these perhaps. are them. These are them. These are them. Of course these, these are, are them. These are them. Yeah, <laughs> we, might, we might have some more. I like countdown. I like okay. 2018 countdown. Okay. We'll see I know you usually like just kind of like sit and listen. Back in the day, it used to be Kiss. I don't know if you're in Connecticut, the Kiss station. I loved that. Like all night long, you'd listen to all the songs of the year, starting from like oh. number 100, and then they go all the way down. And you can't like you just waiting as a teenager. I just waited to see what the number one song was. So I love countdowns. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love rockin' New Year's, rockin' Eve. Okay, all that. Did they? Is, did, did the clock still Girl, around? I don't know. Okay, I think they wheeled them out one year. Bless his heart. Okay, they wheeled them. 
They wheeled him out, girl. He's oh. old. Okay. But they wheeled me someplace, okay? <laughs> So, we all age, so I have to be wheeled someplace. So, I believe he did, okay? But okay. anyway, I just love countdowns. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Okay. All right, so this is the end of this video. Let's not add a whole bunch of extra chitter chatter. Okay. At the end. All right, so <laughs> comment down below. Let us know some of your 2018 favorites this year, products that stood out to you, things that you love, if any of these were in your lineup, or tell us your lineup. We want to know. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right, bye. bye.